Hey YouTube, Audi Olympian here, back with another video coming to you from Audi Olympia, where the world meets through music, movies, and speakers. Okay, today's video, you guys, really quick, kind of a fun one, uh, something that I just wanted to introduce you guys to a couple of new apps, but I get to talk about my favorite topic, and that is bass. If this is your first time visiting our channel, we want to welcome you. Thanks for stopping by. We'd appreciate it if you could go find any old HDMI cable you may have laying around. Take it and shove it into the like button upside down. And to all our subscribers and returning viewers, there is a new feature on the videos here. It's called a super thanks. Just wanted to make you aware that will allow anybody to drop in any donation of any value or any amount there for our channel and help supporting us so that we can keep making this content for you guys. So we'd really appreciate it. If anybody feels led to go ahead and do that, tap onto the super thanks. Okay, so getting into today's video here, we're gonna be talking about bass, right? But I came across a couple of apps here that I wanted to show you guys. Well, one I've had and I've done a little video on, I think it was, a, I did a short on it before, which is just a decibel reader, a free app that you can download on any mobile device. But I also came across another one because I wanted to be able to find out if there was a way I could measure the hurt level of my subs in my room. I wanted to be able to see how low do my subs go, how low um, is the atmosphere of the bass in my room, am I able to reach those subsonic levels. One of the difficult things was, do I even have any content that can get that low? You know, how do we measure that? So again, I'm not very sophisticated. I'm by no means a electrical engineer or even an audio engineer. These are just some apps that I found here and I wanted to make them a um, known to you guys so you could go and have fun and do the same thing in your rooms and they're free apps here a decibel reader that one will come up you can download any number of those and that'll give you your decibel readings so basically how loud you're getting i like knowing that my system can get that loud and handle it or not get distorted at all you want to know that if it does crank up that your system can handle it i like that the other one is called fine tuner this one allows you to measure the hurt level. So it's not like the, the decibel level, so it doesn't capture all volume, it's just gonna capture those low, low levels there. I mean, you can get high too if you get a, you know, a 200 hertz uh, level for a uh, higher frequency sound, but I wanted to capture the low levels to see how well my bass is uh, being reproduced in my room. And again, like I said, do I have content? Do we even have any content, any movies that can really get down to those subsonic levels? And can our systems produce it? Can my system reproduce it? So we're gonna have some fun here. Just gonna show you a few clips and how the apps work. They're pretty simple. Have some fun in your room. See how low you can go. Okay, so here go the apps I have set up. This one is for decibels right here, and it does have hertz on that. That's the, I believe that's the yellow looking one, kind of going crazy and wild right now, but it's so, it moves so fast, it's hard to read. So over here is the fine tuner hertz reader. So I have this one set up on two different tablets. So we'll check out some clips here and see how low we're getting and how high the decibels are. Oh, now I will say this, I'm not sure if it is my equipment, my gear, or the app. The lowest I've been able to get this down to was only 25 hertz. But anything lower than 25 hertz, it wasn't measuring. So I don't know if that's the app or if it's my system. But that kind of gives me a little bit of an idea of where my hertz are in my room. Okay, so this really isn't going to be much of a sound demo as it is here just looking at the... Uh, decibel levels in the hertz, meaning the the sound might be a little scratchy, might be a little shaky, the, the mic might clip depending on the bass, so just wanted to forewarn you of that. Okay, this first clip here is just Adobe Atmos demo track Amaze. It does have quite a few really good low bass um, scenes here, so let's see how low we can get on it.
All right, so that one went pretty low, and I seen it topped out or bottomed out at about 26 hertz. So that was really, really low. So this next one is Transformers uh, Age of Extinction. This one does have a lot of really low bass tone um, scenes to it. But the decibel levels, it's not really loud, it's not a very loud movie, so I do kind of like that there. However, the downside when you have a mix like that is you kind of have to turn your volume up just to be able to hear the dialogue. And then sometimes when the action scenes happen, they can be a little bit, um, maybe more than what you were expecting. I don't like to say too loud because it should never be too loud for us, right? But maybe a little more than what we were expecting. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so those were just shaking everything right now. <laughs> um, I could feel that everywhere. But the Hertz levels didn't seem to get that low. Uh, I think it was around 40s or 50s, somewhere in there. All right, so this last thing here. This um, download did cost uh, $9. I did it on my Apple Music. Uh, but I came across this artist here called Bass Mechanic. He's from the 90s, uh, DJ back when all the boom and car systems were around. I was part of that group in my teenage years. And he actually, on this CD here, if you can see, he has a 19 hertz test tone and a 20 hertz. And he goes all the way up to hundreds, like 100, 200 maybe. Um, so I thought, wow, this would be a really cool way to see if I am really getting down to those levels. So. Like I said before, it doesn't register anything under 25, 26, sometimes, sometimes I can get 25, but I'll say 26 and under. But let's just see if we can hit it here, and it's only 5 seconds. Now up to 20, still no measuring. Still haven't gotten anything in, 21. You'll see it probably measure here once it hits 20, like I said, 25, 26. Twenty-four. There it goes, twenty-five. So it measured for, for a second there at twenty-five hertz. Twenty-six. See now this bass here, um, I'm sure you can hear me. Uh, you may not even be able to hear this on the mic. I'm just using the camera mic. I'm not using a, a real setup mic. Um, it's shaking everything in my room, but I don't really feel this. You can hear it, and it's deep, but I, it doesn't have impact here. But it's nice to know that my subwoofers can dig deep if I need them to. So there you have it, guys. Those two apps are Decibel X and Fine Tuner. So go download those. Again, they're free. Go have some fun in your room. Let me know what you find out. Uh, is your bass digging deeper than what you thought, or maybe it isn't? What subs are you using in your room? I'd love to know that too. So leave those comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like our channel. And again, if you feel inclined to, there's the super thanks there. We'd really appreciate any support you guys can give. And we'll see you on the next video.